Welcome to Audacity. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing fade ins and fade outs. I just downloaded this uh, piece of free music from Jomendo just to use as an example. I, I'm i using a screen capture from my video editor, Video Studio Pro. And it's the, the first one. And it uh, I can't do both microphone and speakers. So what I'm going to, I hope uh, you'll be able to hear the music as it comes out of here so you can see the changes that are made. Uh, this is the music. It has a little bit of a fade in here. You see where it's narrow and it gets, the volume increases. And it has a fade out down here already. What we're going to do is use the selection tool and the delete key. And we're going to get rid of those so we can make our own. There you go. Okay, we're going to click on the plus magnifying glass so that we can... Uh, you know, see things a little better. The first way to make a fade out or, or a fade in is the easiest way and you just use the selection tool. Select how much you want to fade in or fade out. Go up here at the effect, fade in, and you get this kind of look and when you play it. Okay. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Let me slide it down here quickly. Just use the selection tool. Select the area. Effect. This time fade out. And this sounds like this. Okay. And that's not bad for this piece of music. It just happens to, to um, fade out fairly nicely. Now let's use undo. I'll show you how to do a whoops. We do. Show you how to use the envelope tool, which gives you a lot more control. First of all, we don't want stop. Okay, we do not want a selected part here, so go away. Alright, we're gonna choose the envelope tools. The one here looks like two little triangles facing each other with a line through them. You notice when you click the envelope tool at the top and at the bottom of each track you get a wide gray line. That's the line you're going to click and drag up and down. First thing you do is over here you want to put the line right between the two triangles and click to make a point to begin the fade in. Come over here and click to make a point that's going to stay the same, it's going to anchor it, and just click and drag this down to nothing. Now the problem with the nothing here is that it doesn't go nothing nothing, all the way nothing usually. So if you play this, let's go back to the selection tool, if you play this, can't cut it there, Someday here, let's just move cursor to track start. There we go. You don't start from nothing, and sometimes I like to start from nothing. So here's a little trick. Use the selection tool. And just select the area over here. Select a little bit of it, then go back to effect and fade in. And that takes it down to, well, it would. Here, I'm just going to delete that part. So that starts from nothing. And now when you play it, it actually increases from zero up to your, your volume. Okay, let's go do it. Let's make a fade out the same way. Click on the envelope tool, the two little triangles with a line through them. Click right at the and or as close to it as you can get. Click over here where you want the fade out to begin and that'll anchor it so it won't move and then just click and grab and take this down to as low as you want it. Use the uh, selection tool, effect, fade out and that takes it, see a perfectly flat line. And 
You got a perfect fade out. Okay, I hope this helps you. You know, depending on the music and how the instrumentation goes, you may have to, you know, experiment a little bit to find the sweet spot for beginning your fade out. But use the envelope tool and then right at the end, like about the last quarter or a third of it, you let me show you about the last third of it, use effect fade out at the end and it takes it down to a complete zero silence.